Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 100. Ooh, I can't believe that I've done 100 episodes. It's been almost three years, so it makes sense. I did skip some weeks, though, because life. <laughs> but this is episode 100, which is so cool. Um, that's like a milestone, you know, that I hit 100 No Catch Name episodes, and it's really exciting. <laughs> Especially to look back and see how much I've changed and how much the channel has changed. It's really cool. But, let's get into today. I got all kinds of stuff in front of me. I've been taking notes. <laughs> but, I got um, four finished objects. Yeah, four finished objects to share with you guys. And, I got uh, one new whip. <laughs> That's the only active one, too. <laughs> I do have a whole pile of whips over there that I need to uh, work on. But, um, you know, I'm working on what makes me happy. And that's what I'm trying to focus on. So I'm going to show you my whip, I mean my foes, my finished objects, my whips. And then I'm going to show you some mail that I got in the last week or so. And I'm going to show you a couple bags that are still in the shop. I updated the shop yesterday, but there's only a few left. So if you go over there right now, you might be able to get one. There are only two prints left right now. And it's the Bedtime Bears and a cat print. But they're super cute. So check them out if you're interested. And uh, I will be making more bags. I'm going to hop in real fast. <laughs> One of my prints was super popular this time is the um, Simplicity. And it was like uh, like 1940s, 50s, 60s style clothes uh, pattern pictures. They were super popular. I had a bunch of emails about that. And I am planning on going back to Joann's this weekend maybe to get some more of that to make uh, maybe four more sets. And uh, we'll be up in the shop whenever I get them done. <laughs> so, and I will share that. So, if you were interested in that print, uh, keep your eyes peeled on the Etsy shop in the next couple of weeks. And another one might pop up. But anyways, back to the no catching name stuff. I haven't filmed. Was it a week ago? Maybe it was a week ago. I can't, maybe I am on track. I don't know. <laughs> but this is the first episode of year 2020. So, that's cool. The first episode of 2020 is also my 100th. So, that's really neat. But anyways, I'm going to hop in and uh, start showing you guys stuff and quit talking so much. I'm going to still talk because I talk a lot. But my finished objects, I'll start with the simplest one. The most simple one. Let me get the paper. I want to show you real fast. I started a new notebook and I decorated it. <laughs> this is going to be for all of my um, projects for 2020. Or at least as many as I can fit in here. If I was to fill it up, I'd have to start another one. But what I did is I just started, I wrote on the top, January 20 projects and then I just started writing down everything I started since the first and when I finished them I go back and write when I finished them I write who wrote the pattern what yarn and hooked I use all that kind of stuff just so if I ever wanted to look back and see what I did and you know how I did it I could put that on there and um, know where it's at and also I can uh, if I alter a pattern I can jot that down and know what I did for future reference but my first finished object is from Heidi H which is Snappy Tots um, and she's doing a thing over on her website. I'll link the website below. Uh, every month this year, she's going to release a new dishcloth, washcloth pattern. Um, just, you know, each, you know, 12 of them. <laughs> so, I made the January one. I don't guess it matters if I hold it. <laughs> but I used some yarn that was gifted to me from Becky at Funny Farm Crochet. And it's, I think it's Bernat cotton, but it's in like a red, white, and blue, <laughs> American, well, you know, I know other countries use these colors, but I'm from America, so I just associate it with us, <laughs> but it's like uh, red, white, and blue colors, and it's really nice, I used eye hook, the stitch, I can't, she didn't say what the stitch was called, I know it's a stitch though, because I've seen other people use it, but what you do is, um, the first row down here, you, uh, you chain a certain amount, and then you go back and single crochet all the way down, and then in the next row, you uh, skip one stitch and then you single double in the, the space between the two stitches and then you do that all the way down. You single double into the spaces between the stitches and then you just do that back and forth. I'm not good at explaining it, <laughs> but it's written better than I can explain it. But um, it's really nice. It turned out a good size. She says to just keep doing it until it's a square. And that's how I figure out if it's a square. So I fold it over and it's even. <laughs> that means it's a square to me. <laughs> and um, Or I guess until you round yarn. Or if you wanted to make like a hand towel. You could just keep going. And uh, yeah. So I think it's cute. My plan with these dishcloths. Because I don't need any more. I've made myself a ton. And I've gotten a bunch gifted to me. Which is awesome. But I, uh, I'm going to make up a bunch. And I'm going to put them somewhere. To keep them safe and clean. And uh, I'm going to use them as gift fillers. Throughout the year. As I make little packages to send to other UB. UB? UB? other yarny people 
I can throw one in there or like um, my mom or my sister or someone's birthday if I'm making them a little gift basket which I do a lot uh, with you know body pampery stuff I can just throw a couple in there and they're just gonna be little gift fillers and I think that's good and then I can always have some maybe left over at the end of the year for Christmas presents uh, stocking stuffers that kind of thing but yeah so I think it's cute and I like this pattern it was super quick I made it in one day I started it on the 5th and finished it on the 5th and I made the majority of it at my in-laws house we went over there to eat that day and I worked on it while we were just hanging out so that's cool but she's gonna put out a new pattern every month uh, for dishcloths so that'd be cool I actually I printed it out and it's a free pattern so I can show it <laughs> but I printed it out and I'm gonna poke coals in it and put it in my um, binder that I keep patterns that I make repetitively Did I say that right but uh so that I always have them on hand so if I you know like if I want to make some cloths for someone's you know like a housewarming gift I can just hop in there grab that and pull out a couple and make a few and that way I don't have to go on the computer and try to find where I put them <laughs> so I'm going to do that with all of them this year she puts them out so I'll have 12 uh by the end of the year that I can always refer back to okay now my next two finished objects are squares for the Jada and Stitches 2017 calendar blanket. I already made a few and I'll show you the ones I made. I think last year. I started last year. Let me try to get the right ones. Okay. Here's January's because it's winter in January, at least in my part of the world. <laughs> and then February's. Valentine's. March is St. Patrick's Day ish. See if I can remember. April is the bunny because Easter. May, I think, is the flower. Those might be swept out. No, yeah, because Easter's in May. I mean, April. <laughs> May. And then June is the sun. And then I did finish. These are my new finished objects, are these two July, which is a beach ball. And August. I'm not really a big fan of August because we don't go camping. But it's like a camper um but it's still cute so i went ahead and made it anyways and uh so i only have four more months to complete um that'd be september october november december and it's an owl no apple an apple so october is a pumpkin november is an owl maybe november is an owl I can't remember and then December is a Christmas ornament like a bobble and then I have to just put them together and put a border on it and then this blanket will be all done and ready to go to the county fair and then after the county fair I'll probably gift it to somebody somebody who's got a kid I don't know my mom will probably want it <laughs> if she wants it I'll give it to her but I don't really have a need for it unless Jesse wants it um I need to stop making blankets that I don't have a need for. <laughs> That's a bad habit. But those are all Jaden Stitches um, on her YouTube. They're free tutorials. And, you know, they're they're free <laughs> because they're on YouTube. They're free. I said that like five times. I think I use this here. I used iHook and all of its Red Heart Super Saver uh, scrap balls that I have in my scrap ball bucket. And I started both of those on the first and finished them both on the first. So those are my very first things I made this year. And that's cool. Another thing that I'm doing, sidetrack, is I'm going to take a picture of every item I make this year that I can remember to, and I'm putting it in a folder so that at the end of this year I can look back and see what I all made and, uh, you know, like do maybe a highlights video or something of the things that I made that I liked the most or that were the worst <laughs> that I hated or that were the most difficult, stuff like that. So I started with those, and that's cool that um, I can look back and know that that was my first project of 2020. Okay, my last finished object was a whip in the last video, and it is my... One ball shawl by Moogly, and I used an eye hook, and the yarns that I used, I'll tell you in just a second. But I also call this my Z shawl, because Z made one super similar, same pattern, same yarns, but different order. And I did use another different yarn. And um, I loved Z so much that I wanted to make one similar to it, so I call it my Z shawl. Let's go back. Oh, it's so pretty, I love it so much. I finished making this while watching The Shining. One, um, one day, my mom had Jesse, so me and Devin watched... We watched It Chapter 2, the new one, because we bought it the day it came out. And then we watched the old It, the original one with uh, Tim Curry in it. We watched that whole thing, and then we watched The Shining, because <laughs> we can only watch scary movies when Jesse's at home. But here's my shawl. Oh, it's so beautiful. There it is. It's so beautiful. Okay, let me see if I can remember. The top part up to 
right here where it's a lot of, no wait, maybe it's right here. Let me look. Oh yeah, it is right here. <laughs> the top part, I used a whole entire skein of Red Heart Super Saver stripes, polo stripes, I'm pretty sure. And then right here where it turns blue and green, I used, maybe it is right here. Yeah, it's right here. Blue and green <laughs> was the leftover ball from where I made my scarf and my headband and it's Red Heart Super Saver stripes, cool stripes. So it's just a little ball and made like four or five rolls maybe. And then I added where it's blues and this bright purple. It was, um, this was polo. The top one was parrot stripe and then cool stripe. And then this down here was polo. And the border that I made, I just did like a, I did my own thing. I didn't follow a pattern. I just, I, you know, it's a pattern that was in my brain. So it's just kind of a pico thing. I think I did double, double, treble, and then I did a pico on the top of the treble. And then I did double, double. And then I singled, and then I started all over again. <laughs> I just did that. And I love it. I love it so much. It's so pretty. I love bright colors so much. But see, I wanted to wear it like this. Like Z wears hers. <sighs> My hair. And this is much bigger than the pattern. Because the pattern is written for one ball. I think it's for 200 and something yards. It makes like a little, almost like a bandana cowl type thing. And you actually, in her pattern, Moogly's pattern, you do attach it in the back. So it is more like a cowl than it is a shawl. Um, but I followed what Z did. And Z just kept going to make it bigger. And then she put a really cool... She put a granny border, I think, and then she put tassels on the three points. I don't really like tassels, so I just admitted that. And they're hard for me to, like, clean. I want something I could just throw in the washer and dryer and go on with my life. So I don't like tassels or pom-poms. Uh, so I just did picos. I love picos. I think they're always cute. It's so pretty. And I think these colors, they go better with my hair than, like, reds <laughs> and uh, pinks and stuff, even though I love pink. But I think blue, cool, like, jewel tones, I guess. The purples, the blues, the greens, I think they go better with my hair. And uh, so I think they compliment me better. I don't know. <laughs> Plus I have blue eyes. So blue always makes blue. You know, they go together. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know anything about fashion. But I love it so much. But ever since I made it and my scarf, it's been warm. <laughs> so I may never get to wear this until this next coming winter. But that's okay. I'll have it. Actually, we usually get really cold in February and sometimes March. If we get snow, it's usually in February. It almost always snows here on Valentine's Day. But it's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love Red Heart Stripes. I didn't think I would. I've had those balls for a while. And now I have more over there, but different colors. I used up all of these, except like a ball of the polo. I don't know for other names, but the one down here. <laughs> I still have a ball of it that I'll make something with. But um, I have some that's like primary color ones. And I have some that looks like black light, but it's got the bigger color changes. So I'm going to make something with those. And it does soften up when you wash it. So I'm so excited. I love it so much. Mm. I love that shawl so much. But it is a free pattern by Mingley. I got it off of her website and I printed it. Because <laughs> it's so easy. I think that would be a great gift for uh, the women in my family. So I printed it to put in my binder that I just mentioned a minute ago. I do, um, I only print patterns that I'm, I plan on using again because I don't want to waste one paper and ink because ink is expensive. But um, I need to hurry up and get a printer that does two pages or, you know, front and back. Mine's just a really cheap one. We got on Black Friday one year. It was like $15. So it only does the front. But um, eventually I'll invest and get one that does both sides so that I can, um, you know, use less paper and also uh funny thing about paper is i use like if jesse scribbles on some paper i use it to print stuff on that i'm just gonna keep so i have some patterns that have scribbles behind my printed thing like i print it on top of it and i just think it's cute when i look at it it makes me happy so uh, yeah so that's all my finished objects i do have one new whip i do have a whole pile of whips over there the goat i haven't worked on um my Tammy shawl, or not shawl, Tammy cardigan, sweater, whatever it's called. I haven't worked on that. I really want to, but now that I'm trying to lose weight, I'm, um, I don't want to make a big one and then not be able to wear it. So I'm thinking about maybe just putting that on hold until I see if I'm going to lose a lot of weight or not. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I do have a new whip. It's in the living in this bag. My mom gave me this. It's from Hobby Lobby. She bought it on clearance and she only used it for a little while. And then she was like, do you want it? And I was like, yes. But 
it's a corner to corner which I don't like but I wanted to make this and if you can see the colors there's pink down in there red and white what do you think it is <laughs> have if you have any guesses let me know before I show you I'm so excited about this I love it so much I want to get it done so bad but I keep I was so busy this weekend I haven't been able to oh lord I'm not that best at keeping um my ends straight I'll have to pop up a picture because you're not going to be able to see what it is. Okay, this is what I got so far. <laughs> and that's my little um, macaron from uh, Kayla. Love my mama Kayla. She made stitch markers for a little while. And I bought this one from her because it's so cute. And what's funny is I don't even like macarons, but I just thought that's cute. I think they're way too sweet. I can't handle sweet stuff. But then I also got gifted a little taco and I also use it a lot. But her and her sons made them for a little while. You need to start doing that again, Kayla, because they're cute and I want more. But for this, this is, I never even said what it is. I'm trying to hold it. I got ends. I'm not good at <laughs> keeping my corner to corners organized. But I'm making it in the normal size corner to corner, so it's going to be pretty big. But this is going to be a Valentine's Day countdown. So it's going to be a corner to corner heart, a big old heart. And then on the heart, it's going to be 14 little pockets. And you make a little heart, a little or heart to, you know, you move it each day to count down to Valentine's Day. I thought that would be so cute hanging in the house and it would be something me and Jesse could maybe do. And I could maybe put some candy in it, kind of like an advent, but for Valentine's Day, for Jesse to get little treats all the way up to Valentine's Day. We do Valentine's Day pretty big around here. We're all about family love and togetherness. <laughs> so me and Devin and Jesse, we usually get gifts, you know, we all three get gifts for each other. Um, well, you know, Jesse doesn't, but, you know, they're from Jesse. <laughs> so, um... I definitely want to make something cute. I'll have a bunch of decorations already. Not really a bunch. A few. A uh, couple crochet ones and some that I just bought at like Dollar Tree. So I want to add to that. And I thought this was so cute. I've seen it. I'll pop up a picture right here if I can remember. <laughs> and uh, I thought it was so cute. And I wanted to make it for our house. But I'm using All Red Heart Super Saver. It's cherry red, perfect pink, and white. And I'm using an H hook. And it's my frog. <laughs> my frog hook. And I started it on the 2nd of January. And that's all I've gotten so far. Because I, I did all this on the 2nd. <laughs> and then I had to babysit for two days. And then uh, we were just running around, you know, doing last minute stuff before Devin had to go back to work. So I just haven't had the chance. I do plan on sitting down later and watching some videos or something and working on this. Because I wanted it done so bad. I just have to have it done by February. So i got plenty of time to finish it. But all the little pockets that you make uh, for the heart are corner to corner also. And, um... I don't know if the little hearts are. I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> but I just got excited and started working on it. But I'm using just yarn that I've had. Because that's one of my goals this year is to not buy any more yarn. And to use what I have because I have so much yarn. But I'm excited. I can't wait to um, get this done and hang it up. But it's it's easy for me to keep it in this bag because it's got the two big pockets. So I'll put the skeins on this side and then the, the balls on this side to try to keep them tangle, tangle free. And then... Um, when I turn, it's easy for me to just rotate these in the pockets so that they're not as tangled. They're super tangled now because I've been moving it, um, you know, from the living room to in here and pulling it out and stuff. So I'll fix that up later when I'm working on it. Ah, okay. So that's all of my finished objects and my whips. One more thing, Yarny. Well, you know, the next stuff's going to be male. <laughs> but the last yarn thing is I want to talk about is Llama Mama Kayla's bingo. It's been a whole year since she, since she started it. I did pretty good last year. I did a few of them. <laughs> I don't think I got many bingos, though. But then I, towards the end of the year, I kind of tapered off and just quit printing them because I wasn't even participating. Um, just because I'm really bad at, like, remembering to mark it. But what I did this year is I did go ahead and print it out. And I'm using Valentine stickers <laughs> to um, mark it. Because she did kind of a Valentine's theme. So, so far I got the free space. And then I got um, finish a whip and make a project with scrap yarn. Those are both of the Jade and Stitches one. You know, one each because I made two of them. Because I used scrap yarn for both of them. So, I just counted the July one for that. And then the August one, I did finish a whip because it was a whip and I finished it. <laughs> and then I got another finish the whip, which was the dishcloth. So, because um, I did, I started, I started that in the morning. <laughs> and then I finished it at my in-laws. So, there was a space in between. It was a whip at some point. <laughs> but, um, so now I'm going to work on some more of these. 
and uh, I was kind of reading over it to see what I needed to make and then I was going to try to get a bingo but um, I think I might be able to do this row because I need to make a valentine hat a valentine for a friend which I was planning on doing anyways a mug rug which you know is easy and a pair of finger fingerless gloves which is also easy and I like fingerless gloves so and this other one is a hat and scarf set and a valentine for a friend so I might be able to get two bingos <laughs> because um I always make hats. I love hats and scarves and stuff. So, it's super fun. I'll link that below if you want to check it out and do it. She has a Facebook group for it, too, for you to share, like, your, your photos and stuff. And I think she last year she would draw a winner every month, but I don't know if she's still doing that. It may just be for fun. Um, but I don't know. You just have to go check it out. I just like doing it because it's fun. It's fun to mark it off and keep track of it and all that. And here's my sheet of stickers <laughs> that I'm using for it. I wanted to share that real fast. This is a bunch of mail that I got the last couple weeks. Some of it's still Christmas cards because they're from um, other countries, so it took them a minute to get here. And uh, I want to share it so that I can go ahead and organize it and put everything where it needs to go. I got so many Christmas cards. I counted, the last time I counted, there was 127 of them, plus these ones. So I'm not really sure how many there are <laughs> all together. But this one's from Erin in Florida. different one I had two stuffed in there okay this one's from Erin from uh, Florida that's what I said and her envelopes got a little penguin on it so cute and on the back it's got a reindeer cupcake and some stickers but this is the card she said oh this is cute I haven't looked at these in a few days because you know I looked at them and put them up up to show but they're penguins with little cupcakes it's so cute <laughs> so thank you Erin for that the inside's got the same picture too. Yeah. Okay. This one I got from Natalie from Natalie's Closet. And this is actually kind of funny because I opened this. I had to ship something that day. So I was opening them while standing at the post office. And this card's super duper de duper glittery. And it like rained glitter all over the the desk at the post office. And I just kind of like swiped it in the floor. And when I swiped it, it ended up going all over me. And just, I was glittery the whole day. <laughs> but this is the card. It's super pretty. Look how glittery it is. And it says down here, joy, peace, and love. So pretty. Thank you so much, Natalie. And it's so little. I think it's so cute. <laughs> okay. This one I think I got today. Is this the one I got today? Maybe it was this one. I can't remember. <laughs> I got one of them today. Okay, this one is from Cindy, which is the, the crocheter A, which is not Sandy, which is the Crochet Canada A? Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> this one, she's also in Canada. They're both in Canada. Hence the A. <laughs> is that racist, though, if you say that and you're not Canadian? I don't know. But she's from Canada. Uh, I don't know what zone that is, MB. I'm not sure which one that is. But super cute. It's the little red truck with um, a tree in the back. And it's got a little Santa driving. And you can see a little gingerbread man poking up there. <laughs> but she also sent me this really cute ornament. Get off there. I got threads on everything. I sewed this. Look at my head. It's all glittery. I got this super cute ornament. Thank you so much, Cindy. All right. Maybe this is the one I got today. I can't remember. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. This one is from Kim in also Canada. She's from Ontario. Blech. Cute little kitty cat. <laughs> I know what's about to happen. That cat's about to smack that ball and break it. My sister had a cat once when I was younger. And that cat was always in our tree. <laughs> it was a little kitten. But she sent this little ornament with some stitch markers on it. And it is so cute. That ornament's got beads on it. I always wanted to do something where I put beads on it. But I'm afraid I'll just mess it up. Really cute stitch markers. I like those middle ones. They're like color but clear. It's really cool. Thank you so much, Kim. Alright, now i got two packages. This first package is from Australia, which is so cool. And also, speaking of Australia, um, I'm going to put out another video about Australia sometime this week. Probably tomorrow. But um, everybody just please keep them in your thoughts and prayers if you're the praying type or good vibes, whatever you do. Because they really, really need all that they can get. And there's lots of ways to donate to them. So definitely check out that because um, there's a lot of our Yarny friends that live there and even people we don't even know, you know. Lots and lots of people are suffering from the fires and animals are suffering and dying and 
it's just horrible. So uh, they definitely need all the good juju they can get. Sorry about that. Devin got to work and texted me. Anyways, what I was saying was about Australia package. It's from Christine. My phone, my thingy just went off. <laughs> from Christine and she lives in Australia. I don't want to say where because I don't know, you know, what their, how small their areas are. I don't want to expose her. Oh, I found more Christmas cards I forgot about. <laughs> they were down in that bag. Okay. Alright, this is from her. This card's so cute. Look at the little Australian Christmas card. It's so cute. Look at the platypus. I love platypus. Mama, do we have any chips in the game, please? Okay, so she sent me two Australian afternoon teas. It says that it's got three out of four leaves of fullness. <laughs> She also sent some postcards, which is really cool. I love postcards. Postcards. And a koala. And a platypus. Oh, mm. a platypi. <laughs> I don't know how you say that. Oh, they're so cool looking. But also weird. They're so cool and weird. All right, so she sent for Jesse. This was super duper cool. She sent him this Christmas book. And it's about Australia. And he loves this book. We read it to him a few times. And uh, this is cool. I wrote in it uh, who it was from and all that. But it's just so cute. I don't want to show a lot of it because you don't know, copyright. <laughs> but it's just a really cute book. And it's cool to have a Christmas book from another country. And um, it's just cool. Ooh, all the stuff I've been getting is so cool. Okay, Jesse saw that and I had to give it to him. So I had to go open it for him. I found two more uh, Christmas cards that were down in the package from that. So this first one is from Rail at the Dablin. Dablin Hook. Ugh. I like how she made a picture card, but she put crochet stuff. And I told Devin, because this year the Christmas cards we sent out, even to the yarning people that weren't, you know, not family, were family cards. And next year I think I'll do this. Like I'll maybe make some kind of pi big picture of like me with a bunch of yarn or something. And then some more yarning related pictures around it. Because I think that would be cute to send out to all the yarning people. And then I could do photo cards for family and stuff. But there's that. Thank you so much, bro. Okay, from Angela, I think that's your name. I'm not really good at reading cursive. I'm sorry if that's not your name. But she's from Blonde Dragon Crochet. And she sent me one of the three wise men. And she also... Let me put that letter back in there. She sent me an ornament. I'm trying to straighten it up because it's been in that card since I got it. A snowflake ornament that's glittery. So I will attach a name tag to that and hang it up next year. My tree's going to have so many cute ornaments on it. All right, and the last package, I actually got this one today. Dump it out. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, your penmanship is so nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your name is Terrilyn, but again, I'm not good at reading cursive. <laughs> you guys have to forgive me. But uh, it's Terrilyn from New Jersey, and this is a super cute card. I love these cartoony ones. I'm a big cartoony person. <laughs> your penmanship is so pretty, though. Gosh, some people write so well. So she sent us three candy canes one each <laughs> and she also sent Jesse a pack of stickers I haven't opened it yet I'm trying to give him stuff just a little out of time because he'll make a huge mess but it's sticker sheets Christmas ones so that'll go in his box of activity related things look at her penmanship though it looks like it's printed <laughs> like with the computer and then she sent me this cute little drawstring bag which is so cute I want the pattern for this and she put a Christmas light bulb ribbon as the, you know, the cinch drawstring thing. And inside of it was an organza bag. And inside the organza bag was two bags of cinch markers that she made. So this one is a stocking and a snowman. Probably not going to see that that good because it's glitter. And then this one, open it up because these are dangly ones. Here's like a little tassel. It looks black, but it's actually a dark blue color. And this one is gray, and it's got a snowflake on it. And then this one has got little white balls on it and a little snowman. That says joy. Thank you so much. I love stitch markers. I love dangly ones especially. And I love this little bag. If you're watching this video, please write down how you made that, or if there's a pattern, link me to it. <laughs> That is so cute, and I like the shape of it. It's square, 
instead of starting round, it started in like an oval, I guess. You make a chain and you work on both sides of it. That is so cute. And it's like the perfect size for, you know, like you could even put a bar of soap in there if you made it out of cotton. That's so cute. I love that. Okay. That's caught up on all the mail, I think. <laughs> And I'm going to really miss not getting mail all the time. <laughs> I love the card seasons. And it's just fun to get mail, you know, snail mail, real mail from real people. <laughs> instead of just emails and stuff. But um, I think that's everything. I think I'm caught up. And, and I'm expecting a few more Christmas cards from other countries. They've messaged me. And it just, you know, takes time to get here. Okay, I, I wanted to show real fast the two bag prints that are left in the shop. Alright, the last two bag prints that are in the shop. There's three sets of each of these. And this is one of them. It's cats. A bunch of cute little kitty cats. And they do come with um, notion pouches. And then these bedtime bears is what I called it. <laughs> they're little bears going to bed. These do all have notion pouches. And they're all sack. And I actually meant to make every single bag this time box bottom. Because a lot of people asked for them. I had 100% intentions to do that. And then I started sewing and I was happy and sewing and getting stuff done. And by the time I was done with the project bags, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I was supposed to make box bottoms and I forgot. So I wrote it on my notes, um, big letters, to next time box all the bottoms. So the next set of project bags will 100% be <laughs> box bottoms because so many people have been wanting box bottoms and I just, they slipped my mind. So these all are sa all are sacks, but the next ones will be box bottom. And I do have another bag that I want to try to get out in the shop soon. I just haven't had the time to work on it. I thought I'd have all this time when Devin was off work. But it, it was opposite. We were so busy the whole time. So I didn't get to make my microwave cozies or anything. So hopefully I'll get to do that soon. But I think that's everything for this episode. So I will see you guys in the next uh, No Kitchen Name episode. And uh, the next video will probably come out tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm going to have... I got a whole list of videos coming out this week. If I can get around to filming them, that is... Uh, so I'll definitely see you guys in some more videos coming up. <laughs> Share this video if you think someone else will like it. Like it if you like it. Uh, subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.